Corinthians 6, section 2, uh, what was going on during the Civil War uh, within the United States, issues related to the Civil War. One of them was that uh, there was a lot of dissension, both in the North and the South, toward the Civil War. And Abraham Lincoln uh, suspended habeas corpus during the war. Habeas corpus means body present in Latin. Uh, in modern day terms, it refers to your individual right of arraignment. If you're accused of a crime, the police are required to bring you before a judge and that judge will determine whether a trial is warranted and during the Civil War, Lincoln suspended this for a group known as the Copperheads. As you know, a Copperhead is a type of snake, especially if it lives in the South, similar to a water moccasin. And uh, during the Civil War, there were a lot of anti-war people. This political cartoon shows uh, them, and Lincoln is represented by Lady, Lady Liberty with her Union shield defending our nation's rights and these people are wanting to make peace with the South and if you ever heard of the term snakes in the grass um, this is a book cartoon showing Abraham Lincoln using a sickle to cut the heads off of these snakes to protect them from the slaves why did he suspend habeas corpus and here's a picture of the actual order and basically to quiet um, people talking out against the war. And this photograph is a famous one. This is um, Abraham Lincoln standing with his officers in his army. And the man that's really key behind this is the guy that I circled here. His name is George B. McClellan. He was head of the largest of the Union armies. And Lincoln fired him twice during the war for for uh, not doing what Lincoln wanted him to do. And uh, the man uh, in 1864 ran against Abraham Lincoln on a ticket to find peace with the South, to make peace with the South. So Lincoln wanted these people quieted. And during the war, he winds up placing 13,000 in jail during the war. Second thing that I want to talk about as far as issues related to the Civil War is in 1864, after the Battle of Savannah, it looks as though the Union is going to win the war. Lincoln is reelected, and in his second inaugural speech, uh, with the most famous lines being, with malice or anger toward none, with charity for all. And the other key part behind this is that I like about this speech that he gave. He says, to bind up the nation's wounds. So... When we talked about the Gettysburg Address, if you'll remember, we talked about the fact that we wanted, um, he wanted the listeners of that speech to not forget the price that was paid on that battlefield. It's up here on the outline, not forget. But in his second inaugural address, he's saying he wants the listeners to not only forget, but to forgive the Southerners and get them back into the Union. The word, the key word behind this is, is reconciliation. In less than a year, Robert E. Lee does surrender to Ulysses S. Grant, April 9th, 1865 to be exact, at Appomattox Courthouse. This is the official end of the war for Robert E. Lee, but not necessarily the end of the war for the Confederacy, because they continue to fight on. Uh, Jefferson Davis is, is um, not captured until later, but most people recognize this as the official end of the Civil War. This is the house that Robert E. Lee surrendered in, and this is a painting showing Robert E. Lee shaking hands with Ulysses S. Grant. This concludes Unit 6, Section 2, Issues Related to the Civil War.